everyone. I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. <coughs> this is a little car vlog, so I've got to do my usual spiel. If you were in the car with me, I would be talking to you just like I'm talking to you now. Don't worry, I'm focusing on driving, paying attention to traffic, keeping my hands on the wheel. I'm not holding the camera with, or in this case, the phone with one of my hands. I'm completely in control. And I have decided, after looking at Amazon, after seeing the, all these books about Gypsy Rose that were clearly poorly written and um, made on a whim to just try and make a buck off the Gypsy Rose, I've decided I'm going to put, I'm going to self-publish a book. Now, it's not going to be about Gypsy Rose, though. I could do that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to, I think I'm going to put together a book of my essays. Um, and I have some working titles for it. And I have one in mind that I really like. But I have to, I didn't pick my nose. I scratched the side of my nose right there. I uh, just, I'm going to put them together. I'm going to have Eric read it. I'm going to have a proofreader read it. We're just going to going to go through the steps and make sure because I want it to be nicely written so yeah I think I'm going to self-publish a book if everybody else can do it why can't I why can't I now so my father passed away in 1992 on my sister's birthday which is extra sad and uh he was a writer and he had a lot of poems and one of his goals was to have his poems published one day his poems are outstanding and I would like to have his poems published too but I don't know if I want to self publish them I, I want them published you know like really published not that self publishing isn't really publishing but there I, I, don't, I feel like the literary world doesn't have a lot of respect for self published material so I'm fine with that being my essays, you know, but not my dad's poetry he worked hard on for most of his life. Um, and in his poems, you can, I'll read part of one of his poems uh, in a later vlog, but you can really sense the feeling like, you know, you know, like the poems of when he was in the military, you know that this is related to his military experience. Um, just, I don't know, he writes great poems. But yeah, I think, so all these other jokers can self-publish books. No, I'm not calling Fancy a joker. I'm calling all those other jokers that published, self-published Gypsy Rose books, like with these just, they're horrible looking. They're horrible looking, I like just the cover of them, they're atrocious. Um, I actually think that the cover of Fancy's uh, book with the house and, and the, the hues and everything, I think that's a really nice cover. These other books, there was just, you can just tell they were quickly put together by some, by, by just people who just don't even know what they're doing. I don't know. Well, you probably saw my video about them. If you haven't, go back and check my video I made about all the books on uh, Amazon about Gypsy Rose that are clearly just self-published by people trying to make a buck. It's weird. So I'm going to try and make a buck and self-publish a book. I think that's a good idea. And I think my personal essays, at least some of them, are a good place to start. And um, I thought of a name for it a couple names, but there's one in particular I really like, and I think that might be the one I stick with. <sighs> I'll have to do some research and then throw everything together, but yeah, I'm going to do that. And I know some of y'all enjoy my car vlogs, so I thought, well, let's do a car vlogs whenever I'm in the car. So I was thinking, I have an extended lunch break because there is absolutely no work for me to do right now at work. Uh, I finished it. And not only that, but I pulled work that would come later in the afternoon and finished that. So there might be something there for me now and I will 
will discover that when I get home. But it, I'll get through that and then I'll probably be, I've been off early every day this week because there's just not enough work this week. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I just don't have the paid time off. <laughs> and I like to get paid for my 40, you know? I mean, it's okay, we're fine. It's just, I, I'm just saying, I like to get paid for my 40. So I was thinking about going in here and getting me a Sierra salad. But I'm not going to. There's this restaurant over here. It's called the Sierra Grill if you're ever in Jacksonville. Um, the Jacksonville Beach or Atlantic Beach, try it. It's really good. I recommend the chicken quesadilla, but of course, or the Sierra salad with chicken. Put a little bit of salt on top of it, and then you add uh, the roasted tomato salsa, the verde salsa, and the um, onions and cilantro. Unless you don't like cilantro, then don't do that. It's really good. It's delicious. Okay, I'm back. I went into Ross, but I forgot that there's a Bath and Body Works right over here. So I went into Bath and Body Works too, and they're having the buy three, get three free sale. They're having candles, three wick candles for $13.95. Plus they have uh, two big tables that are 60% off. So I got some 60% off items. I got some Demogorgon hand soap. And then I got two of these. The Citrus Grove candles. So I got two of them. Now let me show you what I got in Ross. So, Scar from The Lion King is my favorite Disney villain. I know he's terrible. I know what he did is awful. Okay, I know he's responsible for Mufasa's unaliven, and I love Mufasa as well. But Scar is my favorite Disney villain. I can't help it. I love Jeremy Irons, and I love Scar. But it's Scar with the hyenas. Molly from Mammoth Club. Look, I got Scar with hyenas. She loves hyenas. So, I'm very happy about this. It's a Hot Topic exclusive, but they had it at Ross, so. I'm very happy about it. I take them out of the box and show you, but I don't really want to do that right now. <laughs> and then I also got some more Funkos. I got, this is from Disney Expo, so this was exciting. Um, from 2022, Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. The black and white version. So excited about that also. So yeah, I got some more things to add to my Funko Pop collection. So yay. I didn't go into Ulta because I've already spent money. And I know if I go into Ulta, I'm going to be tempted to spend more money. And I need to go to the grocery store. So I'm just trying to be more mindful about my spending because I feel like just because if someone has it doesn't mean that they should just spend it, throw it out there because you never know when you're not going to have it. You know what I mean? So, but I need to go get some grocery items. 
so I, I think that's it for this vlog. Um, if I think of more to say, I'll just turn the camera back on. But for right now, goodbye, and I will talk to everyone later.